Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Sell Soccer. The transfer I'm going to be talking about in this video, it's uh, the one for me. There's always a transfer in every transfer window. It doesn't matter who you support, there's just got that feel-good factor about it. And today, Jermaine Defoe continuously being linked to Sunderland. The rumours keep on growing. There seems to be more intensity about it. And for me, that's the, that's the feel-good factor of this uh, transfer window. That'll be the transfer of the window for me. I really do feel seeing Jermaine Defoe head back to Sunderland. I think it would be an absolutely brilliant transfer. And as I say, it seems to be uh, gaining some traction as well. Guys, before I jump into the video, though, make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here as well. I've, I've, start, I've decided to speak about this one because Lee Johnson, uh, the Sunderland manager, has seamlessly started uh, welcomed the idea of Jermaine Defoe uh, returning. And he seems to have had a few offers from League One clubs and maybe a championship club as well, so the rumours are saying... You've got to feel that this one, Sunderland won it. Defoe's a free agent having left Rangers. There's just some transfers that are just written in the stars, so to speak. They're meant to happen. And I feel like this one really is. The 39-year-old striker uh, probably looking for just one last move before finishing his career. I was Sunderland sitting in second, but as usual, there's a massive competition within League One. Um, uh, albeit, you know, they're sitting in second, but teams do have games in hand with them. Wigan, who are pretty close to them, actually have, I believe it's an astonishing five games in hand. So the table's very close and just signing Defoe would bring a real good, feel-good factor around the club. This one has to happen to me. I mean, we, we have to remember, obviously, his connection with uh, Bradley Lowry. Um, of course, it's some time ago, but I remember reading an article years later about this. But Defoe said himself, he still thinks about Bradley every day. The the connection they had um, between them, the the way it brought the whole football community together for the Bradley story, and unfortunately, it had such a it had such a sad end, didn't it? To it, um, not the end that anyone really wanted, but. There was some beauty of the connection that Defoe had, and I think it really strengthened the fans in general and Defoe's connection to Sunderland Football Club, of course, as well. And do you know what? From a playing perspective as well, it's fair to say that Defoe definitely isn't finished. I believe, when, I remember when he went to Rangers, people were questioning it. Oh, he's past his day. He hasn't got his pace anymore. He had an absolute dream of a career at Rangers, uh, you know, the time he played there. It has to be said. I remember Stephen Gerrard making a comment that he was an absolute dream for the midfielders to play with, an absolute joy. What he offered to Rangers was absolutely brilliant um, and obviously achieved a lot there as, as well. And for me, you know, from a technical point of view, yes, there's a lot of nostalgia about this. But I think it also makes sense from that because the thing is for uh, me, Defoe's one of those strikers. He, he doesn't, you can lose pace, but what he has, you can't lose. And that is that technical goal scoring ability. You know, if he can get into the right area of the pitch, you know, he's going to score. He's just an out and out right goal scorer. Um, and I think even from not just the sentimental purpose, but what he could offer Sunderland Football Club would uh, make this transfer more than worth it, even though some might suspect at 39 years old he is somewhat past his best. And as I said, if he could, you know, go and go and get Sunderland promoted back to the Championship, something that Sunderland spent too long in League One. I really do believe that. And I think a lot of people would agree. Um, such a good, good fan base, a large fan base. And it has to be said that, you know, I do feel that if this transfer happens, it could really help with them pushing on that second part of the season. And this one for me, I've brought up Thierry Henry because it's got, as I said, the sentimental value. This would remind me of the moment that Thierry Henry came back to Arsenal and he scored in that FA Cup fixture against Leeds in 2012. Those that are part of the channel regularly will know there's a running joke. I'm a closet Arsenal fan. I'm not an Arsenal fan. But, I, the, you know, I think that's mainly due to the fact of Thierry Henry being my idol. And to see that transfer was such an amazing thing. And this one has the same feeling, you know, seeing Defoe back into that, in that Sunderland foot shirt would be a, it just give a great feeling. I just feel like it's one of those transfers. It doesn't matter if you're a Sunderland fan or not. 
just seeing the throw back in the uh, Sunderland shirt, finishing his career. And even if he got them promoted, whether that be automatic or even through the playoffs, it would just be a, such a great, great story. And I think Sunderland deserve a happy story. I think their fans have been in through so much um, over the last few years. I think they are really overdue a happy, romantic story. So I'm hoping this one goes through. Sunderland fans, I, I usually ask, would you be up for this transfer? But I don't think there's any debate. Um, I think every Sunderland fan is will be absolutely overjoyed with this. So uh, any neutral fans watching, let me know your thoughts on this transfer. And guys, yeah, just share how much this would mean. Hit that like button as well for me. And also subscribe to the channel if you are new here as well. Do lots of football content. We're going to be focusing more on the likes of the Championship League one. We're going to really be pushing on after January, getting more content out for all leagues. So please do make sure to hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you on another video. Goodbye. <laughs>